Alright you guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to uh, test your uh, run cap in your home AC. Um, I have a couple of videos out already, but I've been getting a couple of questions on how do you actually test this cap. Because uh, usually, well not usually, but sometimes uh, these are protruding and you can tell right away that they're, they're bad. They're just like a battery. Um, so basically what you need to do is you can, if you want to test it and you think it's still good, uh, in most cases it's not going to be though but uh, I'll show you how to test it all you need is a regular meter um, you can see right here that this is a 30 plus 5 MFD which is microfarad um, this meter doesn't have a microfarad so all I'm going to be using is I'm just going to set my settings to capacitance uh, it's the setting here um, you can still get the same reading from it so what we'll do is I'll show you uh, once you've gone out and you've opened up your AC unit and you've went ahead and pressed the button on your contactor, which uh, some of them look different, but there's a, di a button and you, it's only one switch what looks like this in here, and you'll see the button. All you do is push that button. Once you push the button on the contactor, your either your um, AC, your AC's fan and compressor is going to light up. Uh, usually, the number of reason is this uh, run cap and it's just not kicking on your compressor. So what I want to do now is I want to show you how to test it because I've been getting a lot of questions about how do you test it because a lot of people think that they're good. So this one right here, this one reads good um, and I tested this on 8116. So let's go ahead and test it again. And again this is a 30 plus 5 MFD. Alright, uh, what we got here is we got uh, the ground, oh, I'm sorry, we got the common which is you'll see there's a C here. If you look down in here, there's a C, then there's the HEM, the HERM, what they call the HERM, which is your compressor, and then your FAN, which is self-explanatory, the fan. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're going to take your black ground lead, it doesn't really matter, but let's just do it this way, it makes it easier, and we're going to put the black one to the common, which is the C, okay? So we're going to put that on C, and then we're going to just test the fan first. So, so we should get a, a 5 on here. So look at the meter, and there we go. We've got a 5.0. Okay, so we know the fan portion of this is good. And remember, this is just set on capacitance, and this is just saying capacitance means that it's um, actually just checking to see if this will basically hold the charge or take electricity or whatever, okay? Um, so we're going to put it back on the common, and then we're going to go... If you have an M, um, MFD on your uh, meter, then just turn it to that. But this way, most people don't have that, so just put it to your capacitance. And most people will have that capacitance sign on there. Just look at it. Okay, so we're going to go back to the, uh, to the cap. We're going to put it on C, the common. Now we're going to test that HERM. Okay? And that is our capacitor. Okay? Because this thing's going to only run, it's going to kick off the capacitor and the fan. All right? And as you can see, that's a 3. I mean 30, so 30.46, okay? So that means that is good. So this is a good one. Okay. Now, let me show you a bad one. This one's going to be a bad one. So we're going to do the same thing. We're going to go to our common. And then we're going to go, let's test the fan first. I think the fan one was bad on this one. I can't remember though. So, see that's a 4.8. That's bad. So let's just move this over to the H -E -H, the HERM. Actually, that yeah, move that. Actually, yeah, move that to the HERM, and that's showing me a 25. And this one is actually a 30 plus 5 MFD. Okay, so let's check it again. Look at it. Get it again. Let's go to our common, and let's do the fan again. And as you can see, that's a 4.8. Okay, and then this should be a 30, what I say was a 35. This is going to show us a 25. Alright guys, so that one's bad. So you should have a 30 and a 5 on this one. Okay, you got a 35, 5. You got to make sure when you take yours out that you go, when you go down to the, uh, to your local AC parts dealer, that you get the same one, 35 plus 5 or 30 or it could be a 30 35 it could be a 45 5 it's there different ones just make sure you get the right one okay
Okay, you guys, you guys, I'm sorry. Um, I kept on saying capacitor in there when I was trying to say compressor. This H-E-R-M, this is what act, what, this is what kicks on the uh, compressor. And then this is for your fan. And then this is the common, okay? So you're gonna put your black lead, your ground on the common, and then you're gonna test your fan, which should give you a uh, five. And then then you're gonna test your uh, compressor, which is the H-E-R-M, and keep your black lead on here, put your red lead on here, and this will give you, this one is actually a, so this one right here would show you a 45, okay? But it would still show you the five on the fan, but it's gonna show you the 45 for the uh, compressor, okay? I kept saying capacitor in there. I just wanna clarify that for you guys. I'm very sorry about that. You guys make sure you watch my other videos for more in-depth uh, information on the AC units so that you uh, get a, a better feel for what's going on uh, with your AC. Alright you guys, until next time, thanks for watching, uh, subscribe, uh, give me a thumbs up. Just